What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's little video, I wanna show you a plugin that I discovered a couple of days ago for Firefox and Chrome. And I think it might be interesting to some of you guys because I have a lot of Vim content on this channel and usually the Vim related videos perform quite well. So I think that a lot of you guys are interested in Vim or at least Vim key bindings. And this plugin that I found for Firefox and Chrome is called Vimium. Uh, you can get it here on a Firefox uh, add-on store or in a Chrome store. And essentially this is a plugin that introduces Vim extensions or Vim key bindings as an extension to your browser. Now the key bindings are not exactly the same. You can go to the GitHub page here and you can look up the key bindings. Uh, they're not the same, but the idea is the same. The idea is that you have your main keys, like the letter keys and the, and the numbers. And essentially this is what you use in order to do certain things. You don't have to click the menu here or you don't have to go to the URL bar and do something. You just use these key bindings to operate your browser and it makes it more efficient, especially if you are already getting used to it. I just have it for a couple of days, so I'm, I'm not entirely used to the plugin uh, yet, but essentially you can do very basic stuff like using HJKL instead of the arrow keys, but it's not the exact same thing. It's even better because when you try to scroll with the arrow keys, so for example, I'm going to now hold down the, the down arrow. What happens is you can see that it always makes like a step and then it pauses and then it starts scrolling. So you can see it always makes this little step, then it makes a pause and then it starts scrolling. Same thing with up. And I don't think this is very pleasant. I like to use JK for that because when you press J, it immediately starts scrolling. And when you press K, it immediately starts scrolling up. And the same with HL for left, right. So just a basic thing here, you can do the same thing with D and U for page down and page up to go a little bit faster. Um, and you can also use the typical Vim key bindings of GG and capital G to go to the bottom of the page, top of the page. So GG goes to the top of the page and capital G goes to the bottom of the page. Uh, I think this is very useful to just navigate uh, the site because otherwise, especially if it's a very uh, long site, you just uh, get the mouse and you, you scroll and I don't know what. So it's a very, very um, nice key binding, I would say. Um, what we can also do is we can open links. And this is a very interesting thing if you don't want to use the mouse because you have a couple of links here. You can have this link, you have all these links here, you have these links and these links. Um, and what you can do with the keyboard is you can just press F, like lowercase F if you want to do it in the same tab and capital F if you want to do it in a different tab. I'm going to go with capital F to, uh, to open a new tab. Um, and essentially you can see now that all the links have certain letters. And depending on which one I want to open, I just type the key. So for example, if I want to go to the Chrome Web Store, I type SS. And then it opens up the Chrome Web Store in a second tab. I can do the same thing here again, capital F. And I can go with, um, I don't know, SD and opens this update readme commit message here. So very interesting. Um, again, lowercase f does it in the same tab. Uh, we can also do some basic stuff like reloading the page by just pressing R. Uh, we can also do some stuff like GS to, so, uh, to show the source code, which is probably not something to use all the time, but you don't have to go right click view page source. You just, get, uh, you just say GS and there it is. Um, and you also have, this is, this is, I think very interesting. If you want to copy the URL, what you usually do, of course, is you go up here, you select everything, especially if it's a very long URL, you go uh, control A maybe, and then control C. What you can do here is you can just anywhere in the page, press YY. So usually the command for yanking a line, for copying a line. And if you press YY, you're just copying um, the URL here. So if I paste it now, I have this URL copied in my clipboard. Um, and I can also do the same thing with links. So I can say YF and then I can do the same thing that I did before. Uh, of course, they need to be visible. So YF and then I can copy the link to, uh, for example, to this here to AP. And then if I go to a new tab, uh, what happened here? Oh, it's the same link. Okay. Uh, or no, it's actually not the same link. We have the blame in here. There you go. So there you can see that it takes me to that page. We can copy links by just pressing YF and then, uh, yeah, then we can just press the combination again to copy a certain link. Um, what we can also do is we can open a URL, very basic thing. So with capital O, you open it in a new tab. With lowercase O, you open it, in, open it in the same tab. 
So capital O and then, for example, I don't know. Um, what are we going to do? Stocks, for example. And this does a Google search in this case because it, it wasn't a URL, but it's it's essentially the same thing as just typing something up here in the URL bar. Um, and you can do that in the same page. You can do the same thing with bookmarks. I'm not going to do that because this would reveal all my bookmarks. I don't want to do that here. But uh, by using B and capital B, you can just go through your bookmarks and do the same thing that you did with the URL. Um, then you can also use the basic Vim search with just slash and then I don't know, find, for example, and then or actually find is bad. Let's go tap and then I can press N or capital N to go back. Just a basic Vim search here. Um, and you can also navigate using the HL key. So if I go here, for example, to this here and then to the GitHub main page, I can just type H to go back or L to go forward. So HH would get me to this. Now, I'm not sure this is the first time I even think about this, if we can combine this with numbers like in the ordinary Vim. I don't think so, to be honest. But if I type 2L, oh, it actually works. 2H goes 2 back. And 1L goes just 1 forward. Okay, it actually works. You can combine it even. This is even more impressive. I didn't know that up until I was recording this video here, um, that you can combine this with numbers as well. Now, I'm not sure if this is uh, possible for all commands. We can try. So JJJ is like that. If I go 10J, it scrolls more. If I go 20J, yeah, it actually works. You can combine uh, the numbers with the individual key bindings to repeat them. This is very impressive, actually. I didn't know that. Um, and yeah, that's it for the basic commands. We also have some tab commands. So the tab commands are actually quite useful. What you can do, first of all, is you can open up a new tab by just pressing T new empty tab, then I can type something like test. There you go. Um, and what I can now do is instead of clicking here and going through the tabs with my mouse, what I can do is I can just uh, press J capital J and uh, capital K. So not not the keys for scrolling up and down, but capital so we can go left with J and right with K. Now, of course, if you are in a text box, this is a problem because when you're in a text box, the bindings are disabled. Um, but essentially, you can just go through the things like that. Very useful. Um, you can also go to the first tab or to the last tab. Let's say we're here in Reddit, for example. Now I can press G zero to go to the first tab or G dollar to go to the last tab, which is, you know, uh, the bindings in, in Vim to go to the first position in the line and the last position in the line. Um, but this is how you can do that. You can also duplicate tabs. So if you want to have this tab again, you just press Y T. And it opens a new tab with the exact same URL. Uh, also can be quite useful. Uh, we can close a tab by just pressing X. If we want to restore it, we press Shift X. Uh, I think we should also be able to restore two tabs. So if I press two capital X, it restores two tabs. Very impressive. Um, and what we can also do is we can search through tabs. So if we have, let's say, 50 tabs open, which is not that unrealistic. I can just type capital T and then I don't know, for example, where is Reddit and I can type Reddit and then I can go to this tab. I don't have to go click through all the tabs to to find it. I can just um, look for it and it, I think it searches for the URL and for the title. So not for the page content, unfortunately. Um, and we can also shift a current tab into a new window. So this tab here, I want to have it in a new window. Shift W and it gets it into a new window instead of a new tab. Um, yeah, one last thing here that we can do is we can also say Alt P to pin tabs or to unpin them. Uh, but this allows us to do that here. Actually, I don't need to do it like that. I can do it with a K key. Yeah, so can be useful, can be interesting if you need it. Yeah, that's it. So then we also have a couple of more advanced things. This is like, yeah, I don't think that this is what you need on an everyday basis, but it can be quite useful. And for that, for the next one, I have to actually change my keyboard layout because I have to use the, I think it's the back tick. And the problem is that on a German keyboard, which is what I'm using, uh, the back tick is not triggering immediately. So I need to type two back ticks to actually get a back tick. It's a little bit confusing. Uh, but if you don't have 
a US keyboard layout, uh, this can be a problem. So when you have a US keyboard layout, though, you can just type a back tick and the back tick jumps to a certain mark and the mark can be defined with M. So for example, I want to say um, here at this at this point here where I see keyboard bindings in the top, I want to define the mark A. So M A. And you can see here it says created local mark A. Um, and now I can scroll somewhere else and I can just type back tick A. Oh, or actually back tick A. And it jumps back to that. Now I'm not sure if it works across tabs. So if I type this here, no, it doesn't work across tabs. But in the same tab, if I define uh, a certain position, so let's go to, I don't know, some Wikipedia article. Let's go to Activision Blizzard, for example. Yeah, this is kind of long. So let's say I want to have this position here marked as MK, mark K. Then I go to the top and then I basically say back tick K and it gets me to that mark. Again, probably not something that you're going to use on an everyday basis. Uh, but I think that it even works if you close a tab and reopen it. It should, uh, first of all, it jumps to that immediately, but I think it should be possible. Okay, it jumps to that immediately. But I think that they are, um, at least in the same session, they should be stored. I'm not even sure if it's, uh, I'm not sure if it's not even stored in general. So if you close the browser, open it up again, maybe it's still there. So this would be quite useful if it's the case uh, for pages that you use quite often. Um, and then a little thing that I found is uh, you can go up the hierarchy by typing GU. What does it mean to go up the hierarchy? It means that in this case here, we're at github.com, then this user, then this repository, then a blob master, and then the readme file. Now, if you type GU, it goes up one level. In this case, it doesn't exist because this is not a valid URL, but I can go GU, GU, and then you can see I'm in a repository. Now, of course, I can also um, combine this with numbers. So I can say three GU and then it goes immediately to the repository. Or what I can also do is I can type G capital U and it goes to the base URL to the root URL, which is github.com uh, can also be quite useful. And last but not least, the last command that I want to show you here is GE. If you type GE, you change the URL in the same um, in the same tab. And if you type G capital E, you change it in a new tab. So if I press enter now, it opens this in a new tab. So that's it. That, that is what I want to show you. Maybe a uh, last last thing I want to show you is this is a plugin up here. You can exclude certain keys if you want a certain URL pattern. So if you say, okay, on GitHub, I don't want to um, be able to, I don't know, reload the page or uh, copy the URL for whatever reason, you can exclude the keys here, uh, if you want to, and you can also go to the options. And there are some available commands that are not bound to certain keys. So for example, um, open a new link in private mode, for example, this would be the command, but it doesn't have a key binding. If you want to add one, you can add a custom mapping here. So you can also extend this a little bit, you can also show some advanced options here if you want to. I think it's a very interesting plugin. For those of you who want to make working in the browser more efficient. Um, yeah, so that's my recommendation. If you're a Vim fan, get Vimium. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.